Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, Windows Vista has now been on the planet for almost a year. Not quite. Almost a year. And uh, seems to be good for some, okay for others, and not good at all for uh, quite a few people. Uh, I, I guess I'm somewhere in the middle. I, I'm disappointed with Vista, not necessarily because of performance issues, but just everything that it should have been, and it's not. So I've been blogging about it and really stirring a hornet's nest with some users who I think are a bit jealous, uh, who don't quite understand that there is a world beyond Windows. Uh, when I posted an email from a community member at large who goes by the handle the dub, uh, I made remarks. Uh, he was making mention of the fact that his laptop wasn't performing half as well with Vista as it did with XP. And he said it's running slower, the hard disk keeps getting accessed, uh, battery life is really bad, so on and so forth. So, you know, I, I, maybe I was a little too flip with my response, but when he asked, you know, what can I do to improve the performance of Vista, you know, in, especially in respect to the performance he had with XP, as I said, well, uninstall Vista and go back to XP. That's the, that's the short answer. And in fact, in many ways, that's what he kind of mentioned in the beginning of his email. Regardless, um, people responded to that and, you know, made suggestions that, well, that's not very helpful at all. Like, well, no, actually, it, it is helpful because if people don't realize that uh, you're going to get better performance on the same machine if you're running XP for most applications, uh, well, it's my responsibility as someone who does know that XP can outperform Vista in certain respects. That's my responsibility to share that information. Um, I also went in and said, you know, maybe it's the, the Windows desktop search that's possibly causing your hard drive to get accessed. Could be the uh, volume shadow copying. Uh, it could be a variety of things that is tied into the way Vista handles stuff compared to the way Windows XP handles stuff. So people responded and uh, my assessment still stands if you want a fast performing computer stick with XP or go back to XP uh, find a way uh, rather than sticking with Vista especially on notebooks laptop computers portables uh, but then the dub emailed me back uh, and, and this is basically what he wrote just read the blog thanks for replying Vista is by no means slow it's just not as instant like Windows XP is on this system I, I don't quite understand what that's supposed to mean exactly, but I guess it makes a, a modicum of, of sense. About my Vista woes. Sleep? Eh. Well, anyway. I'd like to recommend a tool for all Vista laptop users so they can use and you may not know about it. It's called Vista Battery Saver, and it can be found at codeplex.com forward slash Vista Battery. Codeplex dot com forward slash Vista battery. In my opinion, it is what Vista's power management should have been to start with. It automatically, upon unplugging the AC power cord, does a few different things. One, it changes the power scheme to power saver on battery and back to high performance when plugged in. And he writes this in all caps. This should have been built into Windows. More modern processors, such as mine, scale back to 50% when unplugged to save power. That means on battery, my laptop runs at 800 megahertz on two cores instead of the full 1.6 gigahertz. Now, 800 megahertz isn't that fast all these days, but even the power scheme does not disable aero. Another thing my laptop does when on battery, it scales back the GPU power by 50%. Now, scale back my processor and GPU by 50% and suddenly aero is just not usable. This tool disables Arrow and Vista Sidebar automatically. Before on battery, the system was often unresponsive because it simply couldn't handle Arrow and those other nice bells and whistles that Vista has while on the battery. With Arrow, Sidebar, and Desktop Search all disabled, the system is still quick on battery, which for me is a must. I use my laptop in all my classes and I'm very happy with its utility. Please inform the world about it. All right, so there you go. Disable desktop search. Download this free tool from codeplex.com if you're running Windows Vista and you might have a better experience. I really appreciate the dub sending this email follow-up and am certainly more than happy to share that feedback with the world. I'm not trying to you know, make everybody's experience with Windows bad, not by any stretch of the imagination. This is a great tip. 
If you've got another good tip uh, for increasing Vista's performance beyond either this tool or my earlier suggestions, uh, you know, go ahead, leave a remark, a follow-up. Uh, I always scan the comments, and you can always send me an email if you want. That email address is chris at perillo.com, and I check all my emails most certainly. May not respond to them all, but I, I do see them all. And then, of course, you're also welcome to swing by our chat room anytime, day or night, where we're typically talking tech. And uh, it's been a lively discussion tonight, uh, talking about Windows Vista, XP, operating systems in general. You just never know what you're going to get, but you're certainly welcome to join us. Let me try that again. You're certainly welcome to join us. That was a, a service pack for my uh, initial statement there. Uh, anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.